another bike roast. You guys love this stuff. Right off the bat, I just want to say, finally dropped bike roast merch. If you love this series, which a lot of you do, my DMs are literally filled to the brim with bikes saying, please roast my bike. The link's in the description. Go check out the bike roast merch. I've got a little pocket tee that says your bike is shit with the flame on it. And then I've got a big one that just says bike roast with black on fire. It's flame. Go check it out right now. I'm wearing the Ica Barspin merch. If you purchase some uh, some bike roast merch that might bump you to the top of the list to actually get your bike on the series so links in the description and cop some bike roast merch i've made it extremely affordable so you guys can purchase the merch rep it rep your favorite series on this channel and get your bike bumps to the top of the list anyway if you're new to the channel my name is grayson robbins make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss another bike roast i do these usually once a week and just a disclaimer this roast is just for fun my fans send in these bikes purposely to get roasted they say please just flame my bike so if you're new to the channel and you're wondering why this douchebag on the internet is just flaming people's bikes well more or less flaming i'm not that great at roasting but why is this kid talking shit on the internet well it's because it's just for fun just a fun way for me to engage with you guys and you really like it so anyway let's get into the roast all right so our first bike is sent in by hawkis cohen <laughs> great username um and an even better bike okay so this thing I, when i first saw this i woke up this morning and i just went and i picked some bikes oh by the way if you would like to be a part of the series dm my clothing brand or the merch whatever you want to call it at boss industries a picture of your bike i see a lot of people dming me i'm not going to use your bike i'm only using the people who actually you know follow the instructions and send it to the right place but anyway this bike okay <laughs> so so you've got a blue frame so when i was back buying or like building my most recent bike with full factory I went for that kind of matte yellow, and this has, I, I wanted this color, this color of the bike, that blue frame, that's really what I wanted. I wanted that color sound wave because they had it, but unfortunately they were out of stock, so I do really, really enjoy your frame. That is literally like my favorite color, that teal, whatever you want to call it, I love that. But then you ruined it with the gum tires. You literally have the cleanest frame, and then you've got that polished dim, and that would have looked good if you had black tires like a normal person, but you went with the gum. And not only the gum tires, you went with the black wall with gum strip of the back tire and then a full gum front tire. And to make matters worse, I think those are fit, the back or the front one, I'm pretty sure that's a fit tire. And you guys know how I feel about fit bikes on this channel. Oh my God. So not only did you ruin a perfectly clean bike, but you put a fully gum fit front tire on and then a partially gum back tire. So not only does the gum tires look terrible with such a clean frame, you literally have mismatched gum tires. So you took something that you fucked up and you made it even worse. So congratulations on that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Oh man, that just cracks me up. And then to make matters worse, you have a bright red beat to hell. What does that even say? I think fragile, you have a fragile sticker on your BMX bike. Just by the looks of it, this bike seems pretty fragile to me. It looks fairly cheap. I don't see any pegs on it. I'm pretty sure the back wheel has slight brake damage. Let me let me zoom in on this. It might have slight brake damage. So I know you've got a cheap back wheel. So if you've got a cheap back wheel, that's like the most important part of the bike besides the frame because the back wheels take hella beating. So if you have a beat up, cheap ass back wheel, I don't have much space in the rest of your bike. And just based on the color scheme going on, yeah, you, you're not right in the head. Anyway, I'm gonna give this bike <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give this bike a, a three out of ten. All right, so the next bike we have is sent in by Liam Hemmings 95, and it's just said roast my bike. First of all, terrible picture. It's upside down. You have a gross puke green frame, and not only that, you have purple sprocket with purple pedals. Nothing else was purple. So you have a nasty frame color. And you go and take kind of a decent shade of purple, but not really that good, and slap it just right in the middle of the bike, which doesn't really make any sense. And I don't know about you, I can't even ride if I, if, if I don't have both Vim styles, or vi, vi, val, 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 valve caps, if I don't have both, val, if I have a valve cap in the front tire and not on the back tire, I can't even ride my bike. It has to be completely even all the way through. And this bike is just, um, you know, not that. So I always talk about how you can tell like if a bike looks clean or not just by looking at it. So like you might have an all black bike and you might, then it might be worth a hundred dollars and you see an all black bike that's worth $2,000. And you can tell like this bike is cheap. This bike is expensive just by looking at it. This bike not only is not clean to look at, it doesn't look like a, that quality of a bike. And you're mismatching, br it looks like you have S&M four piece bars, which you know, I fucking hate four piece bars. I don't like those. 
You have um, We The People tires, Eastern looks like wheels, maybe just the rims. Um, I don't even know what frame that is. What's on your crossbar? You have something on your crossbar. To make matters worse, not only do you have a red and orange sticker, which are gross colors, but they don't match the disgusting green or the weird brand in purple. You know, I like purple. Purple's back there. It's in the background right here. But you just clash in colors so bad. You don't have any pegs. And then just that weird ass shit on your four piece bars, which makes it worse because you have something on your crossbar. I feel like you're the type of guy that at one point rode tennis balls in your tires. I feel like you're the type of guy that would literally put those valve caps on that light up whenever you roll at night and it just makes a big stream. I feel like you're the type of guy that would put a card from a deck of cards in your back wheel with a paperclip to make it sound like a dirt bike. Looks like this, like you're at a racetrack, but this is not really a race bike or I would consider a BMX bike. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give this bike a, uh, and, and you got a slam seat and I bet you're not doing tail lips. I'm gonna give this bike, let me just make sure the tires are at least facing, okay, at least you got the tires facing the right direction. You didn't fuck that up. I'm gonna give this bike a two out of 10. I truly don't like that bike. <laughs> All right, our next bike is sent in by underscore Kevin Leal. And okay, <laughs> okay, so I don't like raw, but I don't even know if this is raw. This looks like you bought a complete bike, wanted to swag it out, sanded it down with sandpaper, added a red headset cap and a lighter shade of red. What's on the seat post? That, it's like one of those light things. It's like one of those bike light things. First of all, I don't like those. I mean, they're kind of cool when they're actually on it. And I, I saw some at the jam last video, but oh my God, like I don't, it doesn't look good with the non-matching headset cap. And not to mention you have like disgusting gum with mixing, like greasy ass gum, fucked up grips. This raw literally looks homemade. To make matters worse, I don't like raw. I don't like it at all. And then you did it wrong. Maybe you didn't do it wrong. Maybe this is just the shittiest fucking frame and fork I've ever seen. At least you don't have four piece bars. Do you have four? At least you don't have four piece bars. You do have the Colt Vans tires, which I actually like. I think they look pretty cool. But um, this bike doesn't actually. Okay, I take it back. It looks like you have shitty forks because those are the... those forks literally have the hole in them. You know that spacer that. a fucking complete mafia bike and now I don't know if you guys know this um apparently I don't really care about mafia the only brands I mess with is like under full factory but mafia gets roasted so fucking hard in the BMX industry because I, I assume let me know in the comments below inform me on why everybody hates mafias but every time I seem to say I like a mafia I get roasted in the comments and I'm the one roasting the mafia so I shit oh my god this is I think Harry Mains brand I don't know um regardless of it being a $200 shitty ass complete bike it looks cool. Like, that's why I picked it. It looks cool. I don't like the random chrome seat post, but it's clean. It's a frame. It's unique. I've never seen that color frame before. Regardless if it's a shitty bike or not, you at least have Odyssey tires, which you guys know. You know, go check out Odyssey BMX. You got the white grips to at least match the frame and the pedals. 
I don't like the seat post, but okay. It's just, oh my God. I put this bike in here because I liked it so much, but I didn't really, I just glanced at it. And then I zoom in, I realized it's a mafia. I realized it's kind of cheap. Not as what I thought it was. So I'm actually going to end up roasting it. So I'm going to give this bike a, I'm going to give this bike a five out of 10 because it does look different. It is clean. I would ride it if it was a, actually like a quality bike. Now I don't know anything about mafia, but from what I know is all the information I've learned in my comment section, I've done any research myself because I don't care about my, I don't care about any other BMX brand besides Sunday, Odyssey, G Sport. Those are the only brands that I really care about. And uh, yeah, I think I'm literally, oh my God, you have a Reds Van sticker. Oh my God. Okay, so you guys know I don't like stickers and you you kind of have to, you, at least your bike looks good. Whether or not it's shitty and controversial, your bike kind of looks good. Then you slap a red sticker, which I think is a Van sticker on there. You just shot yourself in the foot. You just fucked that up. Not only does it take the steez and clean oh. <laughs> damn it i i don't i don't know what to do i'm gonna give this bike a four out of i'm gonna give this bike a three out of ten just to okay this next bike sent in by tylon underscore jackson this bike let me make sure okay okay i don't think you have fit tires i think <sighs> let's take a break here this bike, I put this in here because I really like it. Regardless that it looks like either a Snickers bar or a turd, something I laid in my own toilet this morning, it looks really clean. I love the maroon, I love the leather seats, and the gum tires, this is, you know, if you have a bike that has gum tires, which are disgusting, and you make it look good, props to you, you deserve to be in the series. I fuck with this bike heavy. I, I would honestly, like, I don't know if I would ride this. It's kind of dark, but I really like this. I'm gonna straight up give this bike an eight out of 10. Looks like quality parts. Um, you've got, looks like, let's see. You have, you have four pegs, you have a chain guard. Uh, you don't have four piece bars. You, at least you don't have the gum grips. A lot of people fuck up with the gum grips because when you buy grips to match like tires and other parts, the thing is like, even if the grips do match the tires, you ride on the tires and the tires get really disgusting and they don't match the grips anymore. So it's not really worth doing, but you made it look really good. And even that little chrome seat post tightener cap thing, whatever you call it, that even looks good on here. The, I don't like stickers and that shadow sticker looks good. You don't have a front tube, you don't have a head tube sticker. This looks really good. Uh, this is a clean bike. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. It's really steezy, it's clean. I would ride this. If it's a bike that I would ride, I'm gonna put it in the series and it's fire. Shout out to Tyler underscore Jackson. That's a fire bike. Okay, <laughs> oh my god. This next bike was sent in. Um, this isn't his <laughs> this isn't his bike, but he said this bike needs to be damned to hell. Um, it looks like the BMX Boys Club. Don't know who that is, but he sent me a post by them. It's Malik Dot Kizer. I I don't know. He sent me this post by BMX Boys Club. I assume that's just like a BMX page. Uh Dumbass name, but regardless, this is even more of a dumbass bike. It looks like Ronald McDonald got fucking sick as hell, took a splattery shit all over this bike, and just ruined it. And to make matters worse, your tie-dye seat. I'm not really talking to anybody right now because I don't know who this bike is. And on the BMX Boys Club, they didn't even tag anybody. They just posted this bike, probably because the owner of the bike saw the post and was like, "Bro, please don't tag me. This bike is getting so much fucking. This is the worst bike on the market." Now I love colorful bikes. I love bikes that are unique. This is unique. It's colorful. You did it, you took it to the extreme. You did it way wrong. It's like, oh, you can never have enough, like, for example, like you can never, there's, you can never have too much of something. You can never have too much money. Well, if a billion dollars came out of the ceilings, it would fucking kill me. I don't want too much of that. This is too much. You don't want too much of this. This, uh, it's a, it's like a total, looks like a Killaby, a park bike, but just the colors are not only disgusting, the spike looks like it weighs 40 pounds. Just, just like, what's the point? I can't imagine the owner of this bike looks at that bike and just imagines, damn, bitch. No, this is absolutely disgusting. It looks like your front wheel is made, literally, it looks like it's coated in mayonnaise. Or it looks like it's coated in your own nut. You probably have mental problems if you own this bike. Maybe this is just a joke. I sure as hell hope it's a joke. <laughs> Thank you for sending in this bike. I'm gonna give this bike a straight up one out of 10. The <laughs> and the only reason I'm giving it a point is because it is unique. I will give it that. All right, this next bike is sent in by Nathan.Crawford underscore 15. Um, the bike isn't that bad. It looks like you were fucking just got done riding and you fogged up the camera because you were panting. So it looks like you were taking the picture like, <sighs> 
So, yeah, this would be a good picture to sit in a great Starbucks for the Minecraft. That's what I imagine when you took this picture. Not only is it slanted, it's foggy. I'm about to pass out from painting so hard. Oh my god. Uh, I can't even really see what's going on. The bike looks clean. I mean, it looks kind of on the cheap side because I, I'm i thinking those are salt plus wheels. I could be wrong. It's a very, like I said, this is foggy as hell. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this bike a 4 out of 10. Um, it would be a 5 out of 10. The bike does look clean. The grips don't match the frame. But the fact that you took such a shitty photo just cracked my shit up. All right, I think our last, no, not our last bike. This might be kind of a long video. This next bike is sent in by Jake Calhoun underscore underscore. And this literally looks like you walked into your parents' room, found their credit card, got on Dan's comp, and went fucking crazy. This is what happens when you give a 12 year old $5,000. Jet fuel, okay, it's, okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you give a 12 year old maybe $700. Chrome and jet fuel out the ass. Looks like a park bike, but you got a cult sticker on there. <laughs> All, and literally the only thing I had to say about this, it literally looks like a 12 year old got $1,000. That's, that's, that's the only thing I had to say about this bike. I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. You have potential, but there's just too much bullshit going on. All right, our last bike was sent in by 8.WalterR. Um, <laughs> It said, roast my bike with a crying face. <laughs> I understand why you're crying, homie. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, I, what do I even st I'm, just, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I can't even. Alright guys, this has been the Bike Roast. I hope you guys enjoyed. DM my brand, at Bostos Industries. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that other one at boss.industries. Make sure you hit the link in the description, go pick up your merch on the post notification bell so you don't miss another bike roast. And until next time, peace out boss squad. I'm probably gonna go shoot my friends with a paintball gun for a bit in the vlog. Peace. I need 10 so I can look at the snakes and poses. I need 10, cause bottom head is non-disclosure. I need 10, so I can live with a peace of mind without niggas taking a peace of mind.